The underdog, one of the things everyone roots for in any sport. That satisfactory feeling of watching a bad team take away victory from a better team. While some teams on this list may not be necessarily underdogs, there are teams that I would root for besides the Seahawks. So without further ado, the top 5 teams I would root for in the Super Bowl. Number 5. The Miami Dolphins The Dolphins are the only team in NFL history to have a perfect season, which was in 1972. Don Shula and the Miami Dolphins, undefeated champions of the world. However, their reputation was tarnished in 2007 when they went 1-15, with their only win coming in overtime against the Ravens in at least dramatic fashion. They ironically enough became the NFL team with the biggest flip of a win-loss record the next season, going 11-5 in 2008. The Dolphins haven't been to a Super Bowl since Super Bowl 19 in 1985, 30 years ago when Dan Marino was a second year quarterback. This gives them a soft spot in my heart and they've always been my second favorite team. Number 4, the Cincinnati Bengals. <coughs> Alright, all redheads have no souls jokes aside, the Bengals are one of those teams that just can't seem to get it together. They've had 13 playoff appearances and appeared in Super Bowls 16 and 23, losing both to the San Francisco 49ers. To the modern era, quarterback Andy Dalton is the only quarterback to lead the Bengals to four consecutive playoff appearances, losing them all in the wildcard round. Ironically enough, as of the offseason of the 2014-2015 season, he is just one of five quarterbacks to lead his team to the playoffs in each of his first four seasons. How do the fans feel? You have a quarterback that can take you to the playoffs for four straight years, but can't win any. When you talk about Cincinnati sports, you automatically just are kind of depressed because there's just nothing after regular season. You just have to feel bad for a team that has to go through that. Number three, the Arizona Cardinals. This is one of those teams that are certainly not underdogs. In fact, before Carson Palmer's injury in 2014, the Cardinals were highly predicted to be the first team in NFL history to hold the Super Bowl in their own stadium. Home field advantage for the win. Not only that, but Bruce Arians was voted 2014 Coach of the Year. So why would I root for them? Simple, Super Bowl 43. In 2009, Kurt Warner's last year in the NFL, the Cardinals appeared in their first Super Bowl in franchise history. In the final seconds, Ben Roethlisberger threw a miracle catch to Antonio Holmes for a tiptoe game-winning catch. Outside left, Roethlisberger, last time, throws to the back of the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown by Holmes! I was rooting for Arizona in Super Bowl 43, and despite being a Seahawks fan, I would root for them in the Super Bowl just because of that game. Number 2, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Is there anything good to say about the Jaguars? Well, at least in the 90s, the Jaguars were an expansion team that came into the NFL in 1995 and went to the playoffs from 1996 to 1999. They also went to the playoffs in 2005 and 2007. Other than that, the Jaguars are one of the biggest laughing stocks in the NFL with memes all over the internet about their current status. For the past seven years, the Jaguars have had losing records with one season being 8-8 and finishing 34-78 in that time span. I'd like to see the Jaguars go to the Super Bowl for their own sake. Also, people have said whenever the Jaguars do go to the Super Bowl, it'll be when the apocalypse happens. So here's hoping for the best! Number 1, the Buffalo Bills. I shouldn't even have to explain the Bills. Instead, I'll just show you footage. Unbelievably good. What admiration I have for the men on our team to fight their way back in, pursuing what turned out to be the impossible dream. The Bills go to the Super Bowl four straight years, which uh, will, will never happen again. How many teams go that many times? To do what we did, to go back four years in a row, will never happen again. That's right, despite 17 playoff appearances, 10 division championships, four conference championships, and four straight that's right, four straight Super Bowl appearances. The Bills haven't won the Super Bowl, to this day being the only team in history to one, go to four straight Super Bowls, and two, lose them all. To make matters worse, they are the team with the longest playoff drought, with the last playoff appearance being in 1999. And they are the only team in the NFL to not go to the playoffs in the 21st century. 
To top it all off, they had to encounter one of the greatest finishes in NFL history in the playoffs, the Music City Miracle. Do the Titans have a miracle left in them in what has been a magical season to this point? If they do, they need it now. Christie kicks it high and short. Going to be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Yeah, give pitches it, to... it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's 40, got something. 50, He's got it. 40, He's got 40, it. 20, 10, He's got it. End zone. Touchdown Titans. There are no flags on the field. It's a miracle. This is why the Bills absolutely get the top spot on the top five teams I would root for. To all of the Bills fans out there, I salute you for your loyalty. And to everyone else, don't jump on the bandwagon if they become good. Nobody likes a bandwagoner. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and good luck to all of the teams on this list.